So here we are with our new compost extract um, set up here. Last year, we were using a um, Midwest BioEgg, I think was the name of the company. Anyways, they're, they're extractor. We switched to this Bio5 one from Soilworks from Yankton, South Dakota. We did our first extract today, which turned out, I think, really well. We'll show you some slides and stuff on that. But um, some of the stuff we changed, we built a stand big enough, as you can see down here, for the skid steer here to fit underneath. So we don't have to use a wheelbarrow anymore. So all the waste dumps out the bottom now of that extractor right into a skid steer bucket. Um, we're able to do an entire thousand gallon batch of compost dumped in the middle of this thing in theory. And we did a hundred gallon test batch today. So we'll kind of show you how that went. And all this is two inch in and out. So you dump all the compost in the middle, let it sit for 20 minutes boiling like that, and then start extracting. And it also has a sand separator, which I'm gonna walk you through. So. So these uh, extract actually came out of the Johnson Sioux, which are pretty well finished out. They look great as far as upper level stuff, like nematodes and amoeba, a lot of fungal stuff in there. Um, and then we're using compost from last year for part of that mix and then some worm casting. So I'll take you guys kind of through the actual extraction process, show you how this new outfit worked. And um, you know, if I was gonna pick between one or the other, that other extractor did really did a good job. So if you already have that, I'm sure it's just fine. But for speed and for convenience and for cleaning out at the end, this thing really seems to be the ticket. So I will walk you through this in the video. So here with this uh, new Bio5 extractor, you can see everything's two inch inlet. It's got an electric two inch water pump that actually um, eliminates a pump for us from our old setup because we had to have an irrigation pump there before so so we're pulling straight in two inch off of a tank into the two inch pump here and then it will actually go out a two inch hose through a two inch gas pump on the other side so right now we're getting ready to actually put the compost in this machine you see we have that two inch electric pump kicked on it's filling up the extractor and uh, as you can see, there's two switches here. There's one for the air, which we flipped on for the air bubbles, and then one for the actual um, water pump. And we're going to leave that water pump on until we get about an inch from that sand separator, which is that blue thing you're going to see here. So, so we're adding the compost to this machine. You can see it's starting to extract the, that dark humic color and really is doing a good job of bubbling and extracting from what we can tell here. And you'll see as we get into the microscope part of this later, it, it really did a pretty good job, I think. So so what are we adding here? Uh, our Johnson Sioux stuff, we're adding about a quarter pound an acre from each of the two different Johnson Sioux mixes that we have. So a half a pound of Johnson Sioux, a half a pound of our compost from last year, and then some worm castings in there just to get some of the good growth benefits from the worm castings as well. So we're putting like a tenth of a pound an acre, I think, or something of worm castings maybe in there. And then a half a pound of Johnson Sioux, which turned out really good for biology. Um, as you can see there, we filled that up and then we'll shut the pump off and once we get about an inch below that sand extractor. And that's gonna give it room to process and extract the heavies back into the middle of that filter as it pumps it out. So. So now we are in the process of starting the pump down below, which we just did. So we, we started that electric or that gas pump um, that's going to pump out of this thing. At the same time, then if we were extracting a full thousand gallon batch, we'd have water pumping in here at the same rate basically as it's getting pumped back out to this trailer. Because we're only doing a hundred and some gallon batch as a test batch here, we basically pumped it in there, let it sit for 20 minutes bubbling like that and now we're just extracting out a uh, 100 and some 140 gallon batch as a test batch since this is our first go with this the other cool thing with this is you can see there's a stainless steel filter in there um, which is a nice addition the other one was a cloth one in the midwest extractor that we had and then that sand separator as you can see is pushing any of the heavy stuff back into the middle of this thing and re-extracting it all over again so that I think is going to be a real good thing as far as sediment, which is one of our biggest problems that we were having with this prior. So now we're down to kind of the end of this as we're pumping this out. So as you can see, it leaves all the compost in the middle, just like our other extractor did. And uh, at the same time, 
as we're getting down to the end here, you can see the outlet side. And so that's what it's sucking um, two inch out into that gas pump on the other side. It's sucking out of the extractor outside of the filter. It doesn't let it go all the way down to the bottom because that's where some of the solids would reside, of course. So it's probably sucking from about an inch above the bottom of that cone. And then you can see the silt that I'm catching in my hand here. That's the stuff that actually comes back out of that sand separator. So really cool addition on this thing to, to actually add some filtration just with a sand separator instead of us having to run through that 80 mesh filter like we were doing before. Oh, so here where we've opened this three inch valve on the bottom of this extractor, it's pretty much just like our other one where you're gonna expel all those solids that are stuck in the middle back out of that. And we've kind of found just getting a plastic stick and mixing on that or any kind of broom handle stick helps expel that. So, so here we've got the spent compost stuff we've extracted coming out into our skid steer bucket. This is a big improvement over how we did it last year where we were using a wheelbarrow for this. So we've got this stand built now where we can keep the skid steer underneath the thing. So we've finished the extract and we throw it under the microscope and it gives us a chance here to just kind of take a look at um, obviously how things turned out. First off, really good is that there's no anaerobic stuff. There's no ciliates flying around in here or any weird bacteria. There's a nematode that we found already in there. Um, I didn't take a very good video here, uh, unfortunately, but there was a lot of fungal sticks in there and a lot of amoeba and a lot of upper level life stuff that, that would help us cycle nutrients. And so we were pretty excited really about the quality of this extract. It actually looks quite a bit better than what we had last year. A lot of that's attributed to the Johnson Sioux, but it also, uh, really this extra extractor did a pretty exceptional job, I think too, of, of pulling up the good stuff out of this extract. And then this is just showing you the finished product. There was a lot more sediment with that other extractor. And so you can see with that sand separator, how much less silt we're getting in the bottom of this. And it's still a really nice humic looking product. So. So you see, as I shake that up, there's just a little bit of sediment there. So the other thing we actually changed for the better too is we put a broadcast nozzle on the back of our tender. So when we do stuff like this, we can actually go out and just broadcast this stuff out into a pasture instead of dumping it when we do tests. Or we could actually use this to cover pastures too. So we got this big broadcast nozzle from a place in Australia. It's supposed to cover 40 feet at about 40 psi, and you can see what a awesome job this thing is doing uh, of broadcasting all this biology out onto this stuff that we're going to graze here pretty soon so this is pretty fun this is the first time we got to play with this nozzle it has such a huge opening on it we can push about anything through it so i'll try and um i'll find that place that we got that through and i'll include that hopefully in this video as well so here i'm hopping in the skid steer i'm going to take this spent compost outside you can see this just fits right underneath this stand, which is a major improvement over how we were doing that. And we'll go dump that on our little pine tree outside and give him a good wake up this spring. So we put some extract on this little guy last year that really kind of got him going. So it's pretty amazing what good biology can do for these trees. Uh, after we're done with this extract and we start getting into the in-season stuff, we've got a tree row we're starting by our house and that'll be a fantastic place to dump all this.